How you doing guys? Uh, we're here in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, this is version 10.2. Going to show you some of the new um, features and changes uh, with this um, software. Now, they, they, I think they released this due to the um, NAB coming out this year, 2015. So let's just uh, kind of jump right into it. And now... One of the biggest changes here is uh, color board. If you go into your inspector, actually it won't be here. Um, so what you have to do is they've taken color or um, color board and, and apply it as an effect now. So if you go to your effects, color, and you have color correction here. Since you would simply drag and drop or double click to... Uh, Apply that and you can see it's right down here color correction one uh, and it's pretty looks pretty much like the old color board not really any changes there as you can see uh, looks uh, exactly the same and uh, some people are kind of wondering perhaps why uh, they do that instead of just opening up and see it right away uh, it could be simply to be able to drag it where you want to so if you have several effects you can place one effect above the other uh, Precedence uh, in a certain order may uh, have an effect on your other effects, I, I suppose. So that's one of uh, the changes there. And uh, another thing that, go, of course, goes along with color correction is your video scopes. And we're going to bring that up now. Uh, the old version, pretty much, I mean, you would have access to all your video scopes, but only one at a time. Um, here you can go right above there you have a view tab you click on that and you can choose from all these um, different views for your video scope so you can show more than one and here we're going to click on the quadrant or the four squares here and you can uh, put up all four video um, scopes at the same time so it could be very it makes it a lot easier than constantly switching uh, between the two in fact, we're going to uh, change to a side-by-side uh, -side vertical right here. Uh, often when I do exposure, um, of course, I use Lumina a lot, waveform. And what's nice about it, you can, uh, the more you add, each one's custom customizable depending on your needs. And uh, now I like to use a lot more histogram and Lumina together to um, adjust exposure. So there's another uh, welcome the feature. Another thing that they did as well is the use of masks. And some has changed since then. Uh, here we can apply the draw mask if you want uh, a, a mask around a certain object and you want to be very accurate. You, we could simply, uh, we're going to double click on that to uh, apply the mask. Going into uh, Inspector, and uh, from here we can actually uh, go around the object. Let's say um, this person right here is the object we want to mask for, it could be for various reasons. And that wasn't very accurate, but that's okay. Uh, just It's just a quick way to show you. Um, the mask, uh, just like so. In fact, we'll go all the way up here and then finish it off right there. Just like so, and you can do your various color corrections around that certain object. And uh, we're going to go ahead and delete that as well. Uh, another thing about color correction, you still have access to your different uh, masks right here, your shape mask and color mask, uh, just like you had before. So those are some of the changes uh, with Final Cut Pro 10.2.